This video is going to cover how to apply proportions when dealing with photographs and maps. If they're talking about photographs, they're probably talking about enlarging or shrinking the picture. And then with maps, they're probably talking about the real life distance when you figure out a distance on a map. Like if a distance on a map is two inches, it's not really two inches in real life. And that's what we'll learn about. All of these problems in this presentation to be solved, you're going to be setting up a proportion. A over B, that's a ratio. C over D is a ratio. And when you set two ratios equal together, you get a proportion. The only thing in addition you're going to be doing with this is also adding in a word ratio. Some kind of units or measurements or just a description of what the top numbers represent and what the bottom numbers represent. If you have a hard time remembering how to solve these, you're going to want to check out the Solving Proportions video that I've created, and uh, I'll make that available for you. So this first problem, we have an original photograph being 7 by 12 centimeters, and the new photograph is going to be enlarged to a 14 by something centimeters. Now a lot of you might be able to do this one in your head. It's more obvious than some of the others, but I'm going to show you what it all means and how to set it up because they won't always be this easy. So here's the original picture. It's 7 centimeters by 12 centimeters. And I'm going to go ahead and start setting up my proportion. We're dealing with width to length here, or the smaller side to the longer side. And I'm going to go ahead and set up 7 over 12. 7 to 12 is the width to length for the first picture. Now they're gonna, we're going to set up the second picture. We want it enlarged. It's going to be 14 by something centimeters. I'm going to go ahead and give you the visual here. 14 to something. Now 14 was the first measurement listed and 7 was the first measurement listed. So that's going to go across from 7. So we have 14 to the mystery number. Now, using quick calculator skills, you could go 12 times 14 divided by 7. That's also in that solving proportions video. I'm going to give you the quick go around with this. If you need more detail on how to solve for n when, you're, when you have a setup like this, check out the other video. We have the 7 times n equaling 12 times 14, and then divide by 7, you get the 24. And so this new photograph is going to be 14 by 24. And it could also go in here in the picture as well. We're going to move on. Here's our original photograph, 3.5 by 5. And then we have our new photograph, something by 10. A lot of you might be able to do this one in your head as well, but it does have some fractions involved that might throw you off. We're going to go ahead and show the setup. In the original picture, we have the dimensions, 3.5 by 5. Now I've rewritten 3.5 as 3.5. Hopefully you're comfortable with converting fractions to decimals. The width to length, we'll set up our proportion over here. 3.5 to 5, 3.5 to 5, there's one of our ratios. And then over here we're going to figure out what's going to go where in a moment. We're going to go ahead and give you the picture. It's going to be, let's see, the shorter side, we don't know, the longer side is 10. So we have something centimeters to 10. And let's see, since 3.5 was first, so our mystery number will be the numerator this time, n to 10. So then we can apply our cross product rule, 5 times n, 3.5 times 10, and then divide by 5, you get n equaling 7. So 7 is going to go in all those missing spots. We'll move on. Alright, so this picture, the original picture, was 6 by 9.5. And, and we're going to make it to 4 by something. Now this one's not as obvious. First of all, it's getting smaller. And also we're dealing with fractions. So this one you're going to definitely want to set up your proportion. We'll do our 6 by 9.5. 6 by 9.5. We'll set up our width to length. We're dealing with 6 to 9.5. 9.5 is 9.5. You could have done length to width, and then you'd have this one flipped over as an improper fraction. Doesn't matter, as long as you keep it consistent. Now, 6 corresponded with 4, so when we do our new picture, 6 corresponds with 4. 
and also 6 will be across from 4 when we set it up. Now we apply our cross product rule, 6n equals whatever 9.5 times 4 is, it ends up being 38. So then you'll divide both sides by 6 and you get 6.3 repeating. Hopefully you have memorized that 6.3 repeating is going to be a third, so 6 and a third inches, 6 and a third inches. They get a little more challenging. So now we're moving on to maps. Now this might be hard to look at for a moment, but let's look real carefully. The map scale is three inches to four miles. That means on a map, every three inches represents four miles. So if you have a map and it says you're looking to travel somewhere and it says it's 10 inches on the map, we need to figure out how many miles it is in real life. So they're gonna give you the map scale first and then the reality. So three inches on the map represents four miles in reality. Three inches goes with four miles. They're gonna go in the same ratio. So now we'll look over here at the travel distance. It's 10 inches equals how many miles? Since we're dealing with inches on the map, that's the number they give us, that's gonna be the numerator. And then to the mystery number. At this point, you could do your calculator trick to solve for n. That's in that other video I have. Or you can set it up and do cross products, 3n equals 4 times 10, then divide out the 3, you're going to get 13.3 repeating, which is 13 and a third miles. Gets a little more tricky, but it's not too bad. Okay, so on this one, we have a map and the reality, and it says that half a centimeter represents 100 kilometers. So on the map, half a centimeter, 0.5, goes with 100 kilometers. So the distance that you want to drive or walk is 4 centimeters, and then you're going to figure out how many kilometers that really is. 4 over n. 4 centimeters, that was on the map, anything with the maps up top. Once again, you could have done reality over map. Doesn't matter as long as you keep the numbers consistent. So if you have your calculator, you could do 100 times 4 divided by 0.5. I'm going to go ahead and set up the cross product rule. 0.5n, there it is. 100 times 4, there it is. Divide out the 0.5, you're going to get 800. So in reality, hopefully you're not walking this. That would be pretty far, I think. 4 centimeters is 800 kilometers. Definitely get a car. All right, we'll do one more. See if you can pause it, figure it out on your own. Hopefully you're back and you've got it figured out. We've got the map to reality. On the map it's one inch to 500. One inch goes with 500. And then over here we've got, ooh, this time, so it's a little different. Now we're trying to figure out, in reality you're looking to travel 800 miles. How many inches would it be on the map? So it's a little different. This time the numerator's missing. And that's all right, you follow the same process. 800 times 1 divided by 500, or you can set up a cross product. 500n equals 1 times 800. Divide out the 500. You get this, 1.6. You might see it as 1 and 3 fifths. If you're taking like a multiple choice test, you need to be comfortable knowing that 0.6 is the same as 3 fifths. So it could be either one. And that is about it. I hope this helps. Best of luck to you.